This is the DMT One to One Show, episode 59, recorded live at the Great Escape 2014, an interview with Brian Mahoney, co-founder of the company Creative Commission. So hi Brian, thanks for joining me, how's it going? Very well, thank you, thanks for having us. So I wanted to ask you about the, the company first of all and site, uh, so uh, tell us a bit about your background and how you came to, to start it. So my background is working in the music industry in the UK, um, I've been doing that for about eight years, um, working, worked as an a and in music publishing and then more recently music management and as whilst I was getting to grips with being a manager, I constantly came up against the problem of trying to find creative people to work um, with my artists. So. Uh, photographers, graphic designers, uh, video makers, just anybody I might need to kind of help launch her career. Um, and I'd kind of hassle my friends who still worked in the music industry and other managers to say, you know, who's good, who do you recommend? And sometimes they'd recommend somebody really good, but I couldn't afford, you know, they're out, out of my budget. Sure. Um, and then I just, I, you know, one of the first things you do in that situation, or at least I do, is just to go straight to Google and put into the internet, uh, you know, photographers or graphic designers. And, I, and I, I, I sort of struggled to find a single place where you could find um, people who've either worked with, you know, within the music industry before or would understand the kind of budget limitations I might have at that time. Sure. And so discussed it with a couple of friends and came up with the idea for Creative Commission, which put simply connects the music industry with creative talent solves that problem that I was coming up against um, last year. And so talk us through the front end so how did you uh, arrange the experience so that it's sort of the, the most linear as possible for the for the consumer? So basically um, one of the guys who started the company with us a guy called Matt um, his background is uh, creating websites and running websites for major major artists including Robbie Williams and, and Jimmy Page and went and sat with him and, and kind of really spent a lot of time kind of researching similar sites and kind of our focus really was to try and make it as simple and easy to use as possible for the users. So as a commissioner, it literally takes minutes to sign up and get to the point where you can post a brief. Um, and it's the same with, with, with the creative signing up. It's very simple and easy to use um, and it's all based online. So you guys have only been live for a few weeks, so I like to interview early startups just to hear you know, their, their first thoughts sure. on, on how things are going yeah. and what the, what the feedback is from going live. So how have you found it? I mean, really, really positive. I mean, we're literally about four weeks old, not even that. Um, we've got 100 users on the site. Uh, everybody I speak to, you know, managers and commissioners who are using the site, kind of completely agree with me and get the idea and kind of see the use usefulness of a website like this. So, you know, obviously we're still at a kind of infancy stage. Um, but the website's doing exactly what I hoped it would do. And, you know, commissioners are signing up, posting briefs, looking for creatives, and creatives are signing up and fulfilling those briefs. So on a very small scale, it's already working. So it's about just building that, building the awareness of the website, basically. Sure. So talk me through the, the, the how the space is, has been moving, because of course you probably don't, did a lot of market research around uh, sort of commissioning uh, works of this kind. So how, how have you seen the trends go? Are the prices going down? Are there more people coming into the industry providing work? Or in the end, it just kind of adjusts itself depending on people's experiences and what they've done in the past? I, th I, think, I think the reality of the music industry these days is that, you know, budgets for, um, to, you know, to commission creative work are definitely smaller than they used to be. I think that's partly because there's, you know, there's, there's generally less money around. But I think also because there's a lot more um, content that needs to be generated for artists. So it's not just making, you know, three music videos for for an album campaign. It's music videos. It's lyric videos. It's, you know, lots of different art pieces of artwork. Um, you know, digital pack shots. It's kind of, you know, there's there's kind of a million different things that not quite a million, but lots of different things that an artist needs now. Um, with the same budget that they had before, with, right? With kind of the same budgets they had before. And so, you know, some, some of the response we've had to, to our website to begin with, uh, you know, some of the budgets are kind of lower than what people would expect. But I think part of what we're doing is, is we're kind of make we're kind of trying to be transparent with with the, the realities of, of what um, some managers and some smaller record labels are dealing with at the minute. Yeah. Um, we are also you know we're working completely across the board with lots of different types of commissioners. So we've got individual artists posting up briefs. We've got um, small management companies, large management companies, and small record labels and major record labels. We're working completely across the board with different commissioners. So budgets will naturally vary quite a bit. Um, but like I said before, I mean quite quite a positive um, reception so far that's awesome and so uh, going forward uh, you know how do you see the site progressing in the next few weeks and is it, is it more of a focus to find people to uh, give you briefs or to find people to fulfill them right now 
there, there's obviously that chicken and egg situation you know, right, yeah. which, which one comes first I think I think the focus is, is, is really twofold and we're doing we're doing both at the same time I'm spending a lot of time sitting in record labels talking to product managers talking to commissioners um, and explaining that we're, we're an alternative to how they usually work um, also spending a lot of time meeting with lots of different creatives um, students um, but people completely across the board to make sure that we've got a really high quality creative signed up. I think, I think from the creative side of, so, a, a point of view, it's really interesting because we're getting a lot of creatives who might might be making their the kind of the chunk of their income working working in advertising agencies or designing you know for book publishers or something completely different to music. But you know perhaps they started music or they just love to to work with with music artists. And I think that's what's really interesting. We're getting really high quality creatives who kind of are willing to perhaps work for tighter budgets because they still really want to work with music. Exactly, and uh, who knows, maybe if you are a band out there that's got like a really great album out or in the works, maybe you can sway people to work for a little bit less, a bit like PR companies do here in the UK. You, know, you can get people to work for a bit less if they can see that the album's going to do well and then they're going to get exposure I think, through it. I, th I think, you know, for, for me personally, I, I think the most important thing is that creatives definitely get paid. Yeah. I think the one thing we're, we're really against is, is the idea of people just, you know, working hard and, and having no no of course, reward yeah, yeah. at all. I think that's Absolutely. really, really important. I, th I think, I think, um, like I say, it's reality that budgets are smaller, um, but I, I think people... As long as there's still a budget, right? There has to be a budget, <laughs> and I think, you know, that's, that's the main thing. People need to get paid for, for being creative. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And again, uh, what's the website URL so people can go and check it out? So it's creative-commission.com. Perfect. Thanks so much. Great, thank you.